Hey everybody, and thanks for tuning in. It's uh, a rainy, wet, windy Saturday in London, and uh, I am taking the opportunity to uh, just get a little bit more paint done on uh, the first of the test models for these Escher, just to see how the scheme works. Um, and yes, uh, obviously it's a quite ambitious scheme because it's all bloody leopard print. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial video on how you actually paint leopard print on the right scale and make it look good. Um, so here we can see the um, the converted Escher heavy plasma that I made is, is coming along quite nicely now. In fact, I haven't done an update video on what she looks like. Obviously the weapon is a long way from being done. It'll have all the plasma glow and everything else, but I've got to get the core paint in first. So the shoes are done now. Uh, the uh, armor plating is closer to being done. Um, and some of the blacks and stuff have been shaded and built in and I'm just starting to uh, add more texture to the leather and everything and then there's a lot of edge highlighting and stuff which I'll have to go on later um, and then as you can see on top of the um, the yellow that I'd uh, painted laboriously I am now putting on leopard print so what I've done is to add some realism for the clothing and also to give me a bit of a sense of working towards and from I've added a several seams onto the garment as if multiple leopards have been sewn together because leopards aren't that big obviously um, so there's a seam that runs right across the middle of the head and then if you look in here you can see there's a seam between the two pieces there and that allows you to sort of mix and match the print spots and get them starting from the seams and then I'm slowly working my way around here to just bang out a bit more and eventually I will finish up here so um, what I've got so look, see, make sure you guys can actually see me paint this what I've got on the um, on the palette here is some uh, model colour dark sea blue mixed with some scale colour uh, flat black and then a bit of water just to make it a bit um, uh, a bit sort of more readily flowing uh, I'm sorry just cleaning up my desk um, and then you, you want to get a nice kind of soft consistency to it but make sure you've got sufficient pigment because what you don't want to do is be going back and forth all the time over your work so I'm just going to draw off any extra pigment there and just make sure I've got the right kind of consistency that I need. And then let's just get where I'm going to be painting on camera. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. Let's bring the light down a bit closer. Yep, okay. Uh, and it's in focus. Yes, good. So um, leopard print is uh, basically, um, you can do lots of different ways. You can do little C's in different directions, but I prefer actually to, um, to kind of just alternate and kind of you can do a mixture of stippling or just uh, you know, a series of smaller circles joining up with each other and then you've got to remember to add some kind of dots in between because it's not a solid block of colour so what I'm just doing now is slowly starting to work more of the pattern in Here there's another seam, obviously. Which gives me an opportunity to add a bit of variation between the areas. So I want to add a kind of dark spot there as if it's missing or disappearing into the seam. And then All the stippling is giving me the shakes, and it's hilarious. Probably one time that's not necessarily such a barrier. Uh. 
<sighs> Sorry about me holding my breath. Whenever I'm doing fine detail work, I tend to hold my breath. My wife calls it pedo breathing, which is uh, really charming. I'm sure it will probably make you laugh, though. Oh, went off camera again, sorry. I don't know if any, any other content kind of uh, loaders or um, creators actually post or watch my videos or anything, but I wonder if they find it or you find it as hard to paint on camera when you're trying to concentrate on your models. I really struggle to, as you know, because you watch this channel, thank you for watching, but um, I often really struggle to... to keep it in camera so what we're doing uh, at the minute is the kind of re really visible bit and then it's going to slip away into these seams which is a lot more challenging obviously but you've still got to follow the pattern through I'll just do what's left of this seam and then I'll move on to the next step so you're not just watching me endlessly paint little black circles. Okay, so now we're getting into the really fine crack. I want to be quite careful. that I'm not overpainting any of the other work and there's one bit just down in the deep recesses which has been good to get into because um, it didn't look as good it, it, some of the wash had pulled in there but now a leopard print spot covers that over. Okay, so let's try and get this to focus. Right, so you can see that the spots are done up until that point. Uh, and at this point, it's good to just take a look away from it and think if there's any break in the pattern compared to the others. Okay, so I think it probably needs a little spot there. And that'll probably do. Okay, so now what we do is, uh, I'm going to have to make some more, I think, it's dried out. Despite the wet palette, I'm using a bit of Dubai Brown. You want to really heavily water this, um, so you, you're looking for a kind of translucence to this colour now. You don't want a heavy pigment paint, otherwise you, you're sort of taking away any contrast that's already underneath, which we need to keep. Um, and you want it to be quite thin so it can flow off your brush properly. Uh, and then we are going to just methodically and fastidiously tap in the centres of any of these spots. As you can see, this process is time consuming in the extreme, but it does look good. I put a post up on um, Evia Metal on Facebook, which is always the best place to get painting advice from um, or opinions from other artists if you want a quick answer to a question and I asked him whether or not I should keep the cloak leopard print all over or do half and half tiger print and leopard print and the consensus was to keep 
soldering on with the leopard print which makes a lot of sense it's just uh, a little be a bit monotonous but you know sometimes the best painting jobs have to be monotonous okay there we go so uh, what I've done since you last saw her is uh, started to define the armour much better, painted in the gem, started to define the masks, added the studs in, started to define the leg armour more. Obviously there needs to be a lot more kind of highlighting done here. Um, painted in the shoes and the flesh on the back of the cape, which has got to be further blended. It's just so I can get the, it's like a, a coloured grisaille. Um, and then a shitload of highlighting everywhere else, but we're getting there. Um, and then the very last thing I'll do is put the plasma glow in with the airbrush, and then the lantern glow in with the airbrush, and we'll and you know some of these lights and stuff with the airbrush, and we'll see what happens. So uh, there you go. There's a quick tip on how to paint leopard print, and I will speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye.